Oh, man. What? <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Hot <laughs> <laughs> What happened? Fail. Fail. Oh, man. Welcome back to Hot and Hot Breath. We got our engine out, and now we're going to go put on the engine stand and tear it down, and then we'll be ready for the machine shop so we can build our hot rod motor. Right on. Now that we have our engine out of the car, we can see our transmission. We can see our input shaft, we can see our throwout bearing, and our clutch fork. When you step on the clutch, clutch fork moves the throwout bearing in and out, which interacts with the back of the pressure plate on the motor. The input shaft of the transmission engages the motor through the spline shaft, which I just showed you. By pushing in the clutch, it releases the motor from the transmission and allows you to shift gears. Use my impact to take the bolts out of the pressure plate and let it fall to the ground. Hit screwdriver and kind of wiggle it out. And just let it hit the floor. Don't let it hit your foot. Alright, do it. There you go. Go down a little bit on the side. Good enough. That's clutch. Good job. Thanks, Dad. Alright, now we're going to take the bottle off. balancer puller on the harmonic balancer now I'm gonna put pull the harmonic balancer off the crankshaft is it heavy crap oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh you can set it down uh -oh. you got it off and that right here we're looking at this is the front of the crankshaft good job buddy I'm going to give you a demonstration of what this engine looks like inside while it's running. I'm going to turn this motor by hand at 60 RPMs. You can see the pistons going up and down in the cylinders. This engine actually turns 6,000 RPMs. This is the crankshaft, timing chain, and cam gear. Check this out.
before we go to the machine shop, they pull out the cam and lifters and rods and pistons. That's right. Okay, so our engine is torn down and ready for the machine shop. Hodge and Hot Rod's coming back at you. Right on. Good job, buddy. <laughs>